living a passionate life, living a life that is memorable and that is enjoyable and engaging in even the simplest ways. So I'm a mom and I have a 19 month old, she'll be 20 months, so soon, about to be two, any day now. No, but anyways, about a year and a half ago, I was so surprised to learn that babies can't see. Well, they can barely see. They can only see about an arm's length away from them, and even that is in black and white. But at the same time, that's one of the most fast-paced growth periods for a human being. They grow so fast that they can't see. They can't control what they eat, when they sleep. They can't control anything. It's probably why they're so cranky, but I digress. <laughs> they can't control anything, but they are growing. And as we grow, and as our sight, be able to start to see color, we be able to see more, we think we got this under control. We can control more. That's why toddlers are a headache. Um, but the reality is, just because you can see something doesn't mean you can control it. We all know that, right? But we don't live that way. So that's why I want to talk about perspective. It's so, so important. And it's very important to know that we can shift our perspective. It's not about improving our perspective, but shift it to the right things in life, okay? So there are three easy ways to do that. Number one is to be, re uh, to be reflective, okay? It's so important to, instead of asking what is happening, what is going on, woe is me, you need to ask why is this happening? Y'all, perfect example, I am very clumsy. My husband will tell you, my mama, my sister and him, all of them, my line sisters, everyone will tell you I'm very, very clumsy. And it's not a day that goes by that I don't drop something that is extremely difficult and tedious to pick up or lose something. It happens every day. <laughs> but I used to get so frustrated and just like, oh, my life. Instead, one thing that I have begun doing is to ask myself, why is this happening? Why am I being forced to slow down? For me, that question led me to ask it, to realize that I was moving way too fast and was not present in the moment. Now that's a message right there. If you have a pencil or a pen, you need to write that down. That's a message and we'll have an entire video of just on being present. But that was my lesson. For you, it may be something completely different that you have to seek for yourself. Okay, I can't answer that for you, but you have to seek that for yourself. So be reflective in every moment. Don't wait till the moment is gone, the lesson has been lost, until you ask yourself these questions. Why is this happening right now? And what can I be learning from this situation? So that's number one. Number two is to always be intentional. Be intentional about life, every moment about life. Intentionally put energy in things that sometimes are very simple and mundane. We all have them. I'm going to talk about this every week. Laundry, <laughs> dishes, going to the gym, writing that paper, checking emails for work. Those things that even if you're doing what you're passionate about, there's going to be bound something that is mundane about that moment. And instead of complaining or dreading it, how can I add passion? How can I add energy to this moment? and make it something that's not just enjoyable for me, but more enjoyable for someone else. And the best example of this in my life is my husband and my daughter, my oldest daughter. They don't play. When it's time to do the dishes, they will get their laptop up with some type of Cartoon Network program, get at me Cartoon Network, and <laughs> they will have the, uh, the phone going with MJ, some classics, and they are getting it. It is full-fledged party time in the kitchen. I am always a little perturbed because the dishes are not getting done, but they are enjoying the moment. They are making a memory, and I am sure that Aria, when she grows up, will always remember that her dad took that time with her. They, they are making that small mundane moment a memory that they can always enjoy. And I'm sure my husband may not enjoy it as much as she does, but he's not judging whether it's making his life more happy or his life more enjoyable, but also about how much enjoyment is adding to hers. So when you go through this week, find moments. If you hate going to the gym, get somebody, go together, make it an activity. You don't like doing your emails, put on that jam, put on that whatever song really gets you going and make that a memorable moment. Similarly, 
just make sure you don't judge your life only based on whether you get more enjoyment out of it because we're living in this world with other people whether we like it or not so that's tip number two we said be what do things be reflective and be intentional lastly be grateful it's not corny y'all it's thanksgiving week and it's not the only week you should be grateful look every moment is a moment that someone else did not get it's a gift if you are always busy and you work 90 hours a week remember that someone else is unemployed if you're eating ramen noodles and you're a college student remember that someone else is trying to get something out of the dumpster okay it doesn't have to be that cliche but reality is every moment is something that someone else is praying for in their life so take life for what it is think of anything that you take for granted and try to shift your perspective on that Moving forward throughout this week, try to find someone to go along with you to do these three things. To be more reflective, to be more intentional, to be more grateful. And document it. Whether it's taking a picture of something that you used to take for granted and now you realize it's something that other people wish they had or other people are praying for, take a picture of that. Hashtag Simply Passionate Life. Or if it's an activity that you usually don't like doing, going to the gym, <laughs> cleaning up, washing your car and how you made that more intentionally, more energetic, and more meaningful, tag us at Simply Passionate Life. I cannot wait to look at your videos and to look at your pictures because that's gonna motivate me. And if you have questions, put them down below. How do you do it, Precious? How do you manage to be a wife, to be a leader at your church, to be a working woman and get all of it done? Listen, I'm not perfect. Am I always so excited? No, I get attitude just like everybody else, but we're striving, and that's what we're here for. Striving together to live a simply passionate life. Summer is coming, I can't wait! So we're going to have five keys to living a simply passionate life in the month of December to help you get ready for the new year. It's going to be lit, as they say. <laughs> we're going to have a great time, so I can't wait to see you all next week. And until then, live simply passionate. Love you.